Well, hello, dearest viewer, and welcome back to my little corner of the YouTubies. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, <laughs> as you may or may not know, a few weeks ago, I bought a guitar. This is the little blessed thing in question with the little tuning thing up there. Now, there are two reasons why I bought a guitar. As you can see, it's also left-handed. People have said, why don't you learn, learn to play left uh, right-handed? Because you're left-handed. And I said, I can't for the life of me do it. I know Gary Moore did it. Um, he was, Gary Moore was left-handed and he learned how to play right-handed. Uh, my favourite guitarist, rest in peace, Gary Moore. Anyway, there are two reasons why I wanted to pick up and learn a guitar. One is because I've always wanted to do it, but I've never owned a left-handed guitar. So, Fortune smiled on me. So, I bought a guitar and a practice amp for about 150 quid from gearfeemusic.com more than happy with it very fast delivery absolutely fantastic and another reason why i wanted to learn the guitar is because me and mrs jones are due to get married sometime next year and i thought i'd learn a couple of songs so i could play them at our wedding i think it's a bit romantic and a bit of a surprise really so here we go these are the chords that i've learned so far and i'm going to show you the problems that i'm having at the minute so there we go uh yes yeah, join me on patreon twitter and all that and as i belch out my dulcet tones my beautiful wonderful channel members and patrons are scrolling across the top of the screen there now d chord this is the d chord by the way i'm learning this off justin guitar a youtube channel fantastic fantastic youtube channel can't shout him out enough he makes things look re really really easy and he explains them in a way that even an idiot like me can understand so this is the d chord on the third fret obviously well you know what i'm talking about so this is the d chord and i do hope you can hear that and not hearing me play actually so i'm just lifting the mic up a bit so you don't pick it up so that's the d chord bottom four strings how to remember the strings actually eddie ate dynamite goodbye eddie Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm going to have to like have one where Amelia Clark's involved. So I'm going to have to make one up because I like Amelia Clark. Anyway, this is the D chord. That's the D chord. There's no buzzing, no nothing. I'm quite happy with that. This is the A chord. I know you should have your fingers as close to the frets, but I just can't do it. So I'm improvising. See, improvising already. A great, um, a great weapon in the guitar player's arsenal. So that's the A chord. I'm quite happy with that. So this is the D chord again. But what I'm struggling with and what I've reached a plateau with is going from D to A and then back to D again and then back to A, back to D, etc, etc, etc. Now to move on with the lessons because i'm not going to take any shortcuts with this i picked up different tips off different youtube channels um but i'm not going to take any shortcuts and what but what i am going to do is wait until i'm competent enough until i know in my own personal mind that i can move on that i'm happy with what i'm doing at the moment i'm not because that to that is taking about three seconds and one of the exercises on Justin Guitar's YouTube channel, one of the exercises is that you have to do this. 30, 30 chord changes a minute is a pass. But I don't want to do that. I want to do 60 changes a minute. So I'm going to have to practice, practice, practice. And what I like about it is... What I like about it is, is learning a little or practicing a little but often like 20 to 30 minutes per day and if you can squeeze in another you know another thing another session like a 15 to 20 minute session during that same day then fair play i mean i can't at the minute but i am so it sounds pretty good actually the guitar sounds pretty pretty good especially through the practice amp it sounds pretty good so we're going through that i'm going through that and a little bit of a tremolo there. 
the tremolo arm. So we're going through that, and we're going through that. Oh, dear me. There we go. And there we go. So that is what I'm learning at the minute. And what I'm going to do is to keep myself motivated, I'm going to do one of these videos every two weeks, probably and release it on a Friday or a Saturday. Um, so I'm going to do one of these videos every two weeks just to check my progress and like I said just to keep myself motivated um, because I really really want to do it so please join me on this journey and I hope you do enjoy these kinds of videos so for now thank you very much and I'll see you very soon